Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hi, thanks for joining us on Celebrating Act 2. As you can see, my business partner, Art Kirsch, and I are with our favorite love and relationship coach, Michelle Fabrica. Michelle, good to see you again. Thanks, good to be here. Hi, Michelle. Always great to see you. Um, maybe maybe uh, you can help me with... Um, uh, a thought that I have, uh, I think uh, you you folks know that I practice Tai Chi uh, several times a week. And um, you talk about relationships with people uh, a lot and, and how to recognize things and improve things and just maybe react a different way. Uh, but one of the ways that you talk about it is, is to really be listening to people. We recently discussed something about that. But I... One of the things that we do in Tai Chi is we sort of connect with ourselves. Uh, we call it being in the moment or being present. For instance, if we're doing a, uh, a movement in Tai Chi that we've done a thousand times before. Uh, I had a, a coach and friend who recently passed, uh, uh, Vince McCullough, who would always say, in this movement, which we've done you know, thousands of times before, and perhaps he did 10,000, think of it as being the first time you've ever done it exactly this way. And you sort of get into a, a not a trance, but just into a, 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 a moment being present about that particular movement. And when we are with other people a lot, sometimes we maybe take them for granted or just don't pay that close attention. But every so often we probably should to reconnect particularly with people we care about, to be present and in the moment with them as, as people who do yoga and who do meditation and who do Tai Chi uh, do with themselves. Is there a similarity to all of that? Uh, how does all that work? Mm. 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 I kind of find myself sort of lulled and mesmerized and being in the moment listening to you. Yes. <laughs> Um, I think there's a lot of overlap and I think that's really beautiful. I love that lead in because basically when we're really present with ourselves, when we're with the other person, it's like we're, we're um, you know, with our eyes, with our ears, our whole body, we're really sensing the present and we're not distracted. We're not thinking about something. I mean, we might be, but hopefully we can bring our attention back. Um, you know, we're really with another, we're open, attentive, tuning in, and it's, it's a beautiful experience. I mean, we're human beings, we're not human doings. And yet, often in our modern world, you know, we're, you know, we're busy, we're thinking, we're planning, evaluating what's next. And, um, you know, nothing wrong with these activities, of course, but when we really slow down to be with ourselves, and our partners and families, it's really a huge gift to um, for ourselves to be fully present in the moments of our lives, uh, to have a richer and deeper experience. Mm -hmm. And I, I think that's important with relationships, and, and that's where you're going with this. Um, and, and Art, you made a great transition from um, Tai Chi uh, being present in the, in the moment with your exercise to being present with people because mm -hmm. uh, let's face it relationships are tricky things to begin with but if you can connect with somebody on that level pay that much attention to them that you're in the presence in the present is that the right term i, I think that's an important um uh, an important thing to do for relationships mm. Yeah, I think yeah. I, I think the 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 the, uh, uh, the point which you're making, I think so well to me, uh, John uh, and Michelle, is that uh, whereas with Tai Chi, uh, I talked about having done that same movement thousands of times, but never exactly the same way. Uh, every so often, we should step back and when we're talking to somebody else, particularly somebody we care about, is say, you know, I've seen this person, done things with this person thousands of times before, hundreds of times before. But this interaction is a little bit different than every other one. So maybe I should listen differently 
uh, and interact differently. And I think that's where uh, I s saw you going with this, uh, Michelle. Yes, well, what you're saying and um, is so true. It's like, you know, in any moment, I'm different than I was yesterday or last year or whatever, as is my partner or my family. Like we're all different in this moment and this moment is different. So it's, um, I mean, there's a quote, you know, D Henry David Thoreau talks about sucking the marrow out of life. And I, I know that sounds a little greedy and voracious, <laughs> but it's about living in this like present moment. We're not assessing, you know, thinking about the future. We're not assessing the past. How does this compare to last time? Or am I this or that more than last time? You know, we can skim the surface of our lives, like, you know, rock skipping, skipping, you know, on the surface of the water. But there's so much depth to be experienced if we, you know, really slow down. And that's kind of what mindfulness, you know, is, is like really giving our attention to our experiences in the moment. And the new, the, the kind of, you know, you, you talk about, you know, this is a new moment, like, you know, beginner's mind, like, can I see this person fresh? Like I've never seen them before, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would that would really help renew a relationship, wouldn't it? If, if making the effort to uh, look deeply into the person you're talking to, as opposed to you know, so often we're distracted by things we have to do, things we didn't do, you know, pressures of daily life. Um, so it's really, I think it's a difficult thing to be in the moment. Uh, to be present in that way with with somebody. Yeah, and we get better as we practice it, right? I mean, it's really making time, setting aside time. You know, we're not going to watch TV. We're not going to plan for next week or some travel or whatever. Like, it's just about doing nothing and just being together and see what you notice. Maybe you sit quietly on the couch side by side holding hands. Maybe you face each other and, you know, maybe you're just it can be a different forms of it, but you're just really together. And um, there, there's a sacredness really about communing with someone this way, like a reverence of this other person and, you know, just appreciating life. Like life is not always going to be here, you know, for us, we all have limited lives and to just take that moment to just experience the preciousness. It's uh, it's about appreciation, isn't it? appreciating the other person and appreciating the moment uh, that you're having. Yeah. It's an excellent uh, topic and um, one that requires, I think, a little bit of practice. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's okay if it takes, you know, as long as it's like, oh, I'm getting distracted or I'm, I'm thinking about we should watch that movie. And it's like, you know, you could even kind of out yourself to your partner if you want. Like, you know what? I notice I'm getting distracted. I want to come back to being with you again, you know, and you're kind of naming it to your intention to take some time. And it, it doesn't have to be, you know, hours and hours. It can just try to make some, you know, carve out a little space in your, in your, in your busy lives to, to just be together. Yeah. Mm. Well, uh, great, this great really, advice. This has been, uh, it's always great to speak to you because you, you, you are always able to frame things in such a way that enhance a relationship as opposed to we just run into things in our everyday lives uh, and your analysis and uh, a point of view on it is always useful and if some of it sticks then uh, maybe it'll help each one of us and everybody in our audience to maybe get a little bit more out of relationship uh, than they might otherwise so thank you for that yeah Glad to be here and share this. It feels it's it's a new kind of discovery for me in the last decade or two, maybe. So I love sharing it. Thank you. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.